Hello everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and in this video I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Arctic Silver 5 Thermal Paste. I picked this up for $7.75 from Amazon, mainly because of prime shipping, although if I wanted to wait a couple days I could save a couple bucks by going to eBay, who has it for I believe $5.95. Now Newegg actually has it for more money than Amazon, which is a little bit odd, I thought. My CPU is the Intel 2600K overclocked to 4 GHz, and I haven't actually touched it at all in 4 years almost, which is when I actually put this together. And then my video card, which is the Sapphire AMD Radeon HD 7950, which is also overclocked a bit, which you'll see in the Furmark screenshots in a moment. And I've had that for almost 2 years, and I haven't touched that either. So while I had everything sort of in a state to where I can easily take everything out, I went ahead and cleaned up all the dust. So to actually do the before and after comparisons, I used Prime95, the in-place large FFT's maximum heat torture test for the CPU. And then for the video card, I used Furmark, and I believe for that, I used the... I just set it to the 1920x1080 setting with no anti-aliasing, and I clicked on the GPU stress test button. And I let both go for 30 minutes, although for the GPU benchmark, or burn-in test, I went for 46 minutes instead of 30. I'm not going to detail the process of cleaning your processor's thermal paste, but here are some photos of some before and afters of both my CPU as well as my video card. Though when applying the thermal paste I used, for the most part, the P method, where you just put a small amount of thermal paste right in the middle of the die, and then put your heatsink on top of that to let it spread out across the actual processor. So my before numbers, using Prime95, after 30 minutes, a few of the CPU cores hit 97 degrees Celsius, which is pretty hot. I think that's almost on the verge of actually shutting itself off. So again, this is with a 4 GHz overclock from the stock of 3.4. So after changing the thermal paste and letting Prime95 go for another 30 minutes, I hit about 89 degrees Celsius, so that's an 8 degrees Celsius change. It's not the greatest thing, but it's still certainly an improvement. So for 8 bucks, it's not bad so far. It should be able to give you some more reliable temperatures and give you a longer lifespan for your CPU, as well as your video card, because my before numbers, when using Furmark after 30 minutes, hit about 83 degrees Celsius. And then after I changed the thermal paste, it was hovering at around 75 degrees Celsius. So that's roughly an 8 degrees Celsius improvement, which is not that bad. So that is it with this video. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys later.